Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with uh, three more boxes that came in today. It's uh, weird that they're coming in threes like this. This is twice in a row now. Probably doesn't mean anything. Probably just a coincidence. I only check the mailbox like once a week. Uh, first off, we're going to go with this one in the back here. Um, I'm not sure who this is from. Uh, it uh, had an address on it, but uh, it didn't have an actual name uh, on the address. Uh, it's a little damaged here, so I'm just going to start from where it was already opened. Hopefully nothing inside is damaged. Slide this out of the way. There's a note inside. The note says, Dan, I really enjoy your show and just saw the episode about comic books. These are just gathering dust in my basement. I thought maybe you'd enjoy them, or at least I found a guilt-free way to get them out of my house. I hope you and Mrs. Toy Galaxy have a pleasant new year. Thanks again for putting together a fun show. Wayne Ledden? Leden? Not sure how that's pronounced. I'm going to go with Ledden. Thanks, Wade. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Very well packaged. Uh, some people expressed concern after the last uh, mailbox, uh, P.O. box openings, uh, that I was just using a straight razor. Uh, even though I'm a trained professional, but I've switched over to this uh, much, much safer, rusty old uh, straight razor to, to cut through this tape. I don't want anybody to have any concerns watching the video. A lot of people weighed in on uh, my, uh, my, my handling of the comics in that particular video, uh, to which I say, you're wasting your breath. I've got eight, maybe ten long boxes full of comics, and none of them are in bags and boards. I really don't care about uh, the monetary value on them. Uh, for me, it's just about uh, reading the books, sentimental value, all that stuff. In fact, several of the comic books that were featured in that uh, booth video where I talked about uh, the toy-related comics uh, actually have embossed lines on them uh, because I've had those comics since I was a kid, and I used to trace on them. It's where I'd lay a piece of tracing paper down, uh, and that's uh, part of how I learned to draw, was just tracing over covers. Uh, my Spider-Man vs. Wolverine comic from back in the day has trace marks all over it. So, don't waste your breath. And inside here we have... Ah, sweet! Look at this! This is what I'm talking about. This is good stuff here. Revolution. You know, obviously I knew these were coming out. Uh, and I think the only issue I actually ended up picking up was the very first... These covers are great. That is a great cover there. Mask Rom. Uh, Micronauts, Rom, Optimus, Photobomb and the whole thing, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes looks like he's on a pommel horse there. Uh, the only issue with this I actually did pick up was the very first, uh, I think it was like the preview issue maybe? Uh, it was the one that had uh, Action Man, uh, the new styled Action Man on the cover. So this is really cool, issue 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, I don't know if that's the whole series, maybe it is. Hey, if that is the whole series, uh, even if it's not, thank you very much, Wade. I am absolutely going to read these because I haven't yet. Uh, and I know that it's a continuing thing, and I know that Hasbro's working on that uh, crossover universe thing uh, that's coming out here in the near future. Uh, next up, we got uh, Dan Heron. Daniel Heron reached out to me earlier in the week and told me to be out, uh, be on the lookout for a package from Scottish Santa Claus. Uh, I was like, awesome, but what? I have no idea what's in here, so uh, let's check it out. Scottish Santa Claus, I assume, is uh, same as regular Santa Claus. Uh, I don't really know why there would be any difference between regular and Scottish. Uh, as far as I know, there is only one Santa Claus. But let's see what we got here. Mobile wrap. Look at this. Holy cow. This is like wrapped. This was for producer Greg. <laughs> I don't know if I can open this on screen. I don't know if I could open this for producer Greg. I'm probably gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that producer Greg is probably not gonna mind me opening this. Make sure we got nothing else in the box here. Clear on the box. Uh, this one says to uh, Mr. Toy Galaxy, aka Dan Larson. Uh, I'm gonna open that one first. I'm gonna. I'm gonna open producer Greg's first. Uh, I don't think he's gonna mind me opening it. Um, he's. Uh, He's going to be watching this anyway, so it's kind of like, just pretend these are his hands, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to open it. I'm going to go ahead and open this for him here. Uh, yeah, I'm opening it. All right. Producer Greg. <clears throat> says, happy holidays. Got uh, C-3PO, R2-D2, and uh, BB-8 there. Says, uh, producer Greg, Scottish Santa Claus had a difficult time. With your present, uh, though this was sitting, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a tough time reading this handwriting. This was sitting in here, sir, here to Jan's Tarkin. He will know what it is, or thank you, thank you, Merry Christmas, Scottish Santa Claus, like you did in here. Alright, let's take a look at here, we'll see what's in the box. 
You need to work on your penmanship there, Dan. And producer Greg. There it is. Producer Greg, huge, huge fan of uh, Funko Pops. That's not true. Uh, we've got a uh, director, Krennic, Funko Pop. He's got them cold, dead eyes. They're like shark's eyes. Good stuff there. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to give him his card. Make sure I'll be seeing him. Uh, I might see him uh, later today, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, all right. Mine says, uh, Mr. Toy Galaxy, a.k.a. Dan Larson. Open this one up. Look at the same card. Happy holidays. Well, you know what? On the other one, I thought he had taped this. Dan, I thought you had taped this in. Uh, but that's actually like a gem. It's like a little gem sort of thing. Mr. Toy Galaxy, uh, thank you for all your amazing videos. The truth, Greg, just makes smiles on my face. Joy to my heart. Merry Christmas 27. Scotch Hey, Dan, that is really, really fantastic. Thank you very much for sending that out. I will put that on my mantle with all of my other Christmas cards. From my mom, from my grandmother, from my brothers. We got inside here. Ooh, look at this. Fancy stuff, coach. That was just paper. You send me paper. I like paper. Just kidding, there's a figure in here. Hey, look at this. Scottish Santa Claus knows. Dan knows. There he is. Focus, there we go. Got a blaster and everything here. Look at this, we got a uh, Hong Kong 79 FET brown belt. Looking good. I think this is uh, 351, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if he holds his blaster. Now, this is a, <laughs> I'm just noticing this blaster. I don't know if you can see this. This is a messed, uh, you can't see that. This is a messed up blaster. This thing is a, I don't know, it looks like a chewed up knockoff that got chewed up and then knocked off again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was melted down and then tried to be reconstructed. I have to find out if there's a story behind that. Dan, if there's a story behind that, let me know. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, that is fantastic. Love it. Love the character. Love the mangled up helmet. He's got dirt all over him. Joints are actually in pretty good shape, and he's not really missing that much paint. And that blaster is a gem. Man, that thing. I'll be posting a picture of this on Instagram at uh, Toy Galaxy uh, to uh, so you can get a better shot of uh, of that blaster. Uh, I'm going to set him there for now. Dan, thank you very much. That was uh, that is an incredible batch of stuff there. Really appreciate it. Slide that stuff over there. Awesome stuff. Uh, next one up here is... Uh, this one actually came from Australia. From uh, Lee Retty. Uh, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I just know that it's from Australia. And that uh, the, the customs form said there were toys inside. That could mean a lot of different things. Let's crack this open here. Hard box. It's an Australian box. It's a trick box. There we go. There it is. That did the trick. Alright, see so we got another note here. Always worried about reading these live. You never know what people are going to express. Hi Dan, thanks for accepting these two FETs into the Boba Set family. Uh, I've also included two vintage era Han and Carbonite. I don't know what that means. That I picked up as a trifecta in a recent eBay auction. One went to go along with my slave one. And it felt appropriate that the other two go with the Fets. Keep up all the great work on Toy Galaxy. Keep up all the great Toy Galaxy work. It's definitely one of the best informative, entertaining toy channels on YouTube. All the best with the future acquisitions. Lee, our Instagram. Uh, oh, he's got an Instagram account. Secrets of Grayskull. Go follow him there at Secrets of Grayskull. That's Lee. Uh, let's see what we got here. Thanks for the note. Love this. Love getting notes. Love getting actual paper notes from people. Uh, send those to our P.O. box. Even if there's nothing else inside. I got a whole... A whole uh, shelf over here that we tape them up to that uh, when people send mail like that. All right, we got, um, this is, oh, okay, I see what you did here. All right, sweet. Oh, man, there's, like, tape on here. This just got hard. Hang on. Hang on, here we go. There it is. All right, a little bit of surgery. Look at this. Look at this. All right, 351. Standing back here from Scottish Santa Claus. And then this is, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is 352. We got another blaster. Uh, I don't require all my FETs to have blasters. That's not, uh, that is by no means uh, an important thing to me. If they come with blasters, that's fantastic. If they come with uh, blasters that aren't theirs, 
I, I don't have a problem with that either. And if they don't have guns, I do not try to get them guns. Uh, I like to uh, have them as they come. And this is crazy because this one, both of these it looks like, actually are going to come with uh, vintage Han and Carbonites. And these are the Han and Carbonites that came uh, actually with Slave One. This is not the uh, version that uh, came in the Power of the Force at the end of the line, which uh, would have had the Han Solo that could be inserted into the back of it. I've actually never owned one of those. Uh, I could probably trade a couple of Boba Fett's for one, but that's not happening. Look at this. Now, I don't know what the story is here with uh, different colored Fett, uh, uh, Han and Carbonites. Did he say here? Was I not paying attention? Uh, eBay auction. Han, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar of, uh, with uh, two different colored Han and Carbonites here. Everyone I've ever seen has been this color. So I don't know if this is a uh, repro or what's going on here, if that was a, if that was a thing. But uh, that is really, really cool. Let's take a look at the figure here. Crack him open. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Got a uh, Hong Kong. I think he was a Hong Kong, too. Yep. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. All three in perfect, perfect Boba Set condition. Uh, this one is uh, missing a rocket. Uh, looks like somebody tried to uh, either see if it was a removable rocket or turn it into one, and uh, it fails 99% of the time. Uh, there's definitely other uh, Boba Set uh, Fets. Uh, this guy, too, has the uh, uh, chewed off. Let's see if this works. Nope. There it is. Uh, he's got the... Uh... Nope. There it is. The uh, chewed up uh, fingers tips on the end there, uh, which is pretty common. Uh, once again, pretty good joints. So weird, like, so weird that he'd be so mangled uh, in other spots. You know, he's got the dents and stuff, but not that much scratching. But then he's got chewed off fingertips and a missing rocket. Weird. Really weird. That is fantastic. Look at this stuff. Hey, you know what? It's, I, apparently, apparently I've been, uh, I've been good this year. Uh, toy comics. Producer Greg got uh, Funko Pop, Orson Krennic, three Boba Fetts, two, uh, two Han and Carbonites. Oh, and there's a couple other things here. I'm going to slide these guys back here real quick. Actually, I almost forgot about this. Um, I did also want to say that uh, 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 last up is a couple of figures from... Uh, I'm looking at my notes. I'm getting all flustered here because I can't believe I just got these Boba Fetts and all <laughs> these comics and stuff. Um, uh, last up is a couple of figures from Eric Kennedy. Uh, we've got uh, Eric sent over an Amazing Yamaguchi Venom. Uh, Amazing Yamaguchi Revoltek Venom. And uh, an Amazing Yamaguchi Revoltek Spider-Man. Um, it's... Uh, I, I, at this point, I'm just a Spider-Gwen away from uh, owning the entire line. Uh, I've got Cat pre-ordered, uh, but that's going to end... The whole the completism with this line is going to end with Carnage, uh, because I have no interest in owning Carnage, so I may not even bother with uh, Spider-Gwen either. To me, he's always just been sort of a Venom knockoff. Uh, I know people dig him, that's fine, you can love him. There's like 18 other uh, symbiotes uh, as well. It's, I don't really... It, it, Venom was enough for me, that's the only one uh, I, I needed to see in the comics or in the world of Spider-Man. Um, this guy is a beast. Uh, I don't know if we'll get a video in for this guy. We might. We'll see how the uh, we'll see how early 2018 goes. Uh, this guy is just like ridiculous. Um, I'm not a huge fan of all the goo, you know, that sort of. Uh, I'm a, really a traditionalist, an Eddie Brock original, just linebacker, uh, sort of uh, huge Venom guy. I don't mind the sort of more menacing, you know, alien type mouth, uh, and I do uh, like. You know, the, the toes. Marvel Legends did the, like, sock feet, uh, and I don't like that. I don't mind the, the sort of metallic-y kind of finish to this either. Uh, one thing I'm not crazy about on this figure is that he does have articulated fingers, which is nice, uh, but you can't, you can't separate them in any way, so you can't really get that much of expression. Uh, you can't get much expression out of uh, the fingers. But uh, this thing is just... <laughs> He is heavy, he's big, and he is incredibly posable. Comes with uh, different eyes, uh, a... Uh, a articulated jaw here, and he actually has a, an articulated tongue that you can plug in uh, to that as well. And then uh, Spider-Man comes with different web effects and different handsets and different eye pieces, uh, and he's just crazy uh, posable as well. Um, one of those figures that both of them are actually tough to stand. All of the entire Yamaguchi line is tough to stand without their actual stands, but that's the whole point, is that you're putting them in crazy poses, so you're going to have to use the stand 
Uh, but uh, these are both great, great, great figures. Uh, totally unexpected. Uh, make sure. Hey, thank you very much, Eric, for sending those out. Make sure you check out Eric's Instagram uh, at Eric Canetti, E R I C C A N E T E. Uh, also, his Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Eric Canetti. His Twitch stream is a really invaluable resource uh, for insight into the methods of a working professional artist. Uh, Eric has been, uh, he's been, uh, working on the video game, uh, he works for League of Legends out there, I don't know who makes that, but, uh, I mean, I know Eric does, I can't remember the name of the company, but, uh, he's been working out there for, I don't know, a couple years, uh, I'm not exactly sure how long, but, uh, he's also done work for Marvel, DC, Image, Image, all the comics, uh, places in the past, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, uh, the very recent past, he's done, uh, several covers recently, and he, we've, uh, his audience, me included, uh, we've been able to watch and follow along as he works on these covers. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be showing us, but he shows us. Uh, and, uh, and re really being able to interact with a professional artist like that, to be able to ask them, uh, directly how, uh, you know, how they work, um, it's, uh, it's both informational and uh, just like a fa fascinating voyeuristic uh, spectacle, or you know, at least it is for me. Uh, anyway, links that, uh, that I've mentioned uh, are all in the description below. Uh, thank you uh, again uh, to everybody who sent out stuff. Wade, uh, to Dan, uh, to um, Lee, to Eric. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out and watching these videos all year. Uh, sometimes I feel like I have some cool stuff to show you. Sometimes I feel like I don't, uh, but, uh, you know, I still try to, uh, we still try to get a video out to you every Sunday, uh, showing you some fun stuff in the booth. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, uh, for, for the entire year. I hope you're having a good holiday. Hope you don't have to work. And if you do, I hope you're getting time and a half, uh, or at least, uh, you can score an action figure or two. Anyway, check in in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. Thanks. Later.